News recently broke on tech blogs across the internet of a new technology that Apple has patented that is raising many eyebrows. Now, we are in a, a time of incredible worries about privacy, and this has a lot to do with our privacy, and that's why we're covering it. Now, uh, the exact technology that they're patenting is a means to transmit an encoded signal to all wireless devices, obviously including, including iPhones and things of that sort, commanding them to disable recording functions. And what that means is basically they could sa send a signal in a certain area that would stop your device, like an iPhone, an iPod, an iPad, from uh, recording video, taking pictures, or transmitting things via Wi-Fi. Now, there is a good side to that, I suppose, but that should raise a lot of eyebrows, because recently, thanks to the proliferation of smartphones, we're seeing a lot more video and photos taken of police brutality when police go way beyond what they're supposed to do in terms of violence and in terms of the use of force, thankfully now people will have their phone, they can record it. And so we know what's actually going on. It's not hearsay anymore. When in Hawthorne recently, uh, a dude's dog got shot multiple times, we have a video of it. We don't have to rely on he said, she said. In the future, are we going to have that? Perhaps not. If technology like this becomes more widespread, there's no reason that the cops couldn't use something like this to set up a bubble, an area around where they are, that no recording, no uh, cameras and things like that would be able to operate. And so that's what people are extremely worried about. Now, Apple is saying that the main purpose of this is for things like theaters, cinemas, uh, concert grounds. They want to be able to stop people from recording there. And I totally understand that. That seems very legit. We don't want people getting phone calls in a concert. And certainly comedians and recording artists, when they're giving concerts, they don't want people recording it and putting it on YouTube. I understand that. And certainly, it could be a big moneymaker for Apple. And yet, even they admit that this technology could be used for covert police or government operations, which may require a complete blackout condition. And so, look, with what's been going on with both police brutality and also with the NSA, we have to be very worried about what use or lack of use we'll have for our digital devices in the future. And it looks like Apple is stepping in an area that's extremely dangerous here. Apple, back in the 80s, had their ad, that's what's in the sidebar right now, about Big Brother. And it's a bad thing when Big Brother watches you. But it also could be a bad thing when Big Brother stops you from watching people who very often need to be watched, like the police. Um, I'm worried about people walking around and recording everything I do, and yet sometimes things do need to be recorded, if for no other reason than to track down people who commit crimes, who abuse their power, and things of that sort. And so I hope that whatever needs to be done to stop the police from abusing this in the future is done by Apple, because otherwise they could have lost a lot of the respect and admiration from the community that they've generated over the past 15 years or so.